if a patient develops um, low grade toxicities, like grade one or two nausea, grade one vomiting, um, and they're not that disturbing to the patient, but they're present, um, I'll just tell somebody, you know, just, just stay on the drug and these side effects typically will get better. Um, for example, if somebody gets more significant toxic toxicities, like really persistent nausea, where maybe she's losing weight or just can't eat very much, um, or vomiting or abdominal pain that's really bothersome to her, um, she can take a break from the drug and give her a break, um, and then reduce the dose from 400 milligrams twice a day down to 200 milligrams twice a day as per the FDA label. Uh, we do know from study 12 that was conducted by Stan Kay um, that he looked at, all, again, all uh, BRCA mutation carriers who have recurrent ovarian cancer looking at 400 milligrams twice a day, 200 milligrams twice a day versus, versus liposomal doxorubicin. And the 400 and 200 milligrams uh, twice daily actually had pretty comparable results. So I think if, if that patient has to drop from 400 down to 200 twice daily, um, that that would be okay, certainly for efficacy. It's when you start to drop down to below 100, or to 100 twice a day, um, you have to watch to make sure the efficacy is maintained. And certainly, you know, since, since this is being given now off a trial, I think clinicians have, um, have more ability to, you know, dose, redose escalate. So if she, you drop her down to 200 or to 100 temporarily, um, you can easily dose escalate, especially if she's tolerating the drug well, just because patients seem to um, tolerate the side effects better. The, the toxicities get better over time.